so welcome back uh, so in this session we will see few of the commonly used methods for the http request or uh, you are making a request to the uh, rest api endpoints so basically these common methods are uh, uh, same as for the http request and also for the rest apis so we'll see those uh, these things uh, one by one so i have made these common methods based on the crowd operation like create read update and delete because these are the uh, what do you call frequently used operations right whenever you are making a request from client to your server okay so uh, I mean w one of the quick example I can give let's say in Facebook you are searching for some profile let's say that you are searching for somebody John now you search the uh, John uh, and then you click on enter now what will happen Facebook will give you the profile details so that's kind of a, uh, a quick example of the request. The same thing, we have some more crowd operation methods uh, which we are going to discuss. So let's get started. If you see this tabular structure here, the first one is get. Now what is exactly a get request? Get request is uh, very basic where you want to read a particular content. Like as I said, in Facebook you are searching for something that is nothing but uh, a read request okay now what is post uh, okay w one more thing let's uh, for the time being let's put this uh, two columns like this item potent and uh, save uh, thing to separate i will talk to you after uh, finishing all this basic uh, common method usage okay now what is exactly a post request so post request is something where you're making an entry to the server it means that let's say that you are uh, you are sending a tweet into the twitter okay and in facebook you are posting something it means that you are making an entry to the application server so that's how the post request what about put so put is something where you uh, so let's say that in Facebook you posted something and after that you uh, thought of okay no this message doesn't look good then what you do uh, you click on edit and then you update something into that so that's how the put request so you are basically updating something to an existing entry okay so post is adding an entry put is something an existing entry you are updating the same that particular resource only okay now what about delete delete is something which we all know that you are deleting that particular entry be it from facebook feed or from the twitter okay now what is patch so patch is a bit peculiar it's pretty much same as put but the thing is that uh, patch is very specific to setting fields from the put request so one example i can say so let's say you are doing a profile update so in put you have updated everything but in patch you just want to uh, update a specific field let's say that location you have entered india but now you are going to change that to usa so instead of put request you can make it as a patch request which is kind of a lighter version of put but there is one more difference which i will talk to you in a moment while we will talk about item potent okay so so now if i summarize this get is nothing but the r in the crowd operation post is something is create and put and patch is something like update delete is something on d so crowd operation okay now let's talk about the item potent method now what is exactly item potent so it says that every time you do a multiple request of the same parameters the server will not give you a different response that's what the item potent it means that to uh, to give more details let's talk about a get request now get request is something where you are fetching something only you are not actually changing anything on the server side so that's why that is item potent because every time you search for the same name you won't get a different uh, view right you will get the same person's profile only in facebook so that's why that is item potent now what about post request so let's say that in twitter you said that I am feeling uh, happy today so you clicked on post 
Twitter, I mean in tweet you got an entry. Again, you are clicking on the same uh, message only. Now what will happen? It will create another entry. Again, you are creating the same message you are tweeting. So every time you tweet, you click on tweet, uh, the same message, you will get another entry. So you will get multiple tweets. Uh, that's why the post is not an item important because your server is responding to whatever you are changing. Okay. Now what about put? Put is again is uh, is an item important. So now what about put request? Now in put, let's say I have this location as uh, India and now I want to change that to USA. Now what I will do, I will put as uh, India to USA. Second time I will do the same request. Now what will happen? The server will change that to USA. So there is nothing much change. So the state of the, uh, what you call resource, what it was before, now also making the same put request, the resource still say, uh, stays with the same value only. So that's why put is also an item important. Now what about delete? If you see the delete, here you are deleting an entry it means that so let's say now i posted a message i deleted that okay again i am deleting the same resource what will happen it just deletes that only right i mean uh, your resource will not change anything i mean your server doesn't give any other response because delete means that entry is gone again if i am deleting i might get a different status code by saying that the resource is not available or something but it doesn't make a change to your server right so delete is also a kind of item important method only now what about patch if you see patch is not an item important now why it is because at the beginning we have discussed that put and patch is same but patch is bit different i'll let you know about that so let's talk about the same country example only so for the first time i'm making a patch request from india to usa okay now the server got changed to usa now again i'm making the same request india to usa now you the request will fail actually now why is it because the thing is that when the patch request basically refers to what the original value was there and what the user is going to change so at the first request from india to usa it changed now second time if i'm making the same request india to usa there is no entry such as india because india already changed it to usa now the application the patch request will search for india where it can change that value to usa but there is no such value uh, of India right so that's where actually it will fail by saying that uh, that resource is not available or that field is not available so that's why item uh, patch is not an item important method okay now what about safe so it's very straightforward so safe methods are something where you are not doing any kind of change to your server okay so get request every time i do a get request i'm really not changing anything but whereas post put delete or patch anything you are making a change to your server so that means that every time you perform any one of these operations your get request will get a different response so let's say that at the first time the, your location is india only and you do a get request you will get an in india okay now you do a put request now what will happen from india to usa changed now you do a get request so what will happen you are not getting that expected result because somebody else is already updated that resource means you are not getting your intended uh, value actually that's why these are not safe so in practical scenarios in any application if you see for get request you basically don't need any kind of special permissions but whereas post delete or patch or put you will need an admin access or some kind of special provision i mean permissions to perform these operations operations because these are not safe methods okay so that's pretty much uh, about the common methods that we are using there are actually a lot more methods are there but in reality when you talk about QA perspective these five methods where you will encounter frequently okay and do let me know if you get any other methods that in your organization more frequently then we can have a discussion on that okay 
we will be discussing some more about this request so today we have seen the request methods in upcoming sessions we will see what is exactly the request components like what and all uh, how is that structure of the request what components are in that uh, so all these details how is an a api endpoint looks like so those things we will see in our upcoming videos so stay tuned and do subscribe to my youtube channel